So this is the bike we are racing in the FIM EWC Championship. Let's take a look, throw a leg over, get on, and see what you think. Very nice. Yeah, it's nice, eh? <laughs> a little bit different to what you are used to, but uh, yeah. Good, yeah. Oh, cool, cool. <laughs> I like it. I like it. What all these buttons do here? So this is uh, basically the control panel for all the electronics. So we have a different power map is, is the orange one. We can go a more aggressive power map depending on the, the grip of the track or the, or the grip that we have it with the rear tire at the time. We can make it a softer power curve or, or more aggressive generally uh, in the in the last 50% of the race, we, we try to be a little bit less on, on the power so we can manage the rear tyre. Blue is engine brake setting. Wow. Normally we keep, we keep uh, everyone on the same engine brake setting, but if the tyre drops a lot, sometimes we have to reduce the engine brake or if we have a lot of grip, we can go more. Um, and this green one is, is the traction control. Okay. So normally with a... So you can adjust quite many, many things. Yeah, we can adjust to a certain certain extent. We can go. Um, we can basically go on the traction control for for more traction control or for less. Okay. So traction control is probably the biggest one we change throughout the race. Normally we start a lot higher traction control because with a new tire you have less slip, so you can you can okay. start with more. And as the tyre starts to wear, we, we, we go down on the traction control for, for the last parts of the race. So. And you are like uh, free riders, and how, what, how much is your stint, for example, in a race? So for us, um, generally, it's, a, it's around one hour. Depending on the track, um, it can change, but normally it's around one hour. So I will start, or whoever, and we will do one hour and then two hours off, because then Yuki yeah. and then Mike and then back to us so and Yuki has this thing like you are yeah, a little bit shorter. shorter than them and I put oh, uh, yeah and you can see it again yeah. can, you, okay. can you please put it again okay. yeah. thanks hey, you can put it again so yes. you feel much more tight. much more to the front yeah yeah so I think every kilo effect that the yeah. uh, if the body weight is more to the front? Yeah, with, yeah. with the motorbike, it's, the balance is everything. Um, so Yuki's about four kilos lighter than me and, and more for Mike. So it's important for him to, to get more weight on the front tyre, yeah. to keep the heat in the tyre and to keep the, to keep the contact. Okay. Um, so for this, he, he uses this stop at the back to, to put his body position more forward. And in the end, Without changing the, the chassis of the bike, it can be the same effect. Understood. So, Understood. How heavy is the bike? The bike, to my knowledge, is around 170 kilos. Okay. It's not, um, the minimum weight is, is a little bit less, so... A bit I'm lighter than us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a little bit. The car is over one ton, no? Yeah, it's yeah. around 1,300. Yeah. So, yeah. Wow. Thank you guys for showing me around. Ah, no problem. It's amazing. This was the first time I saw a proper motorbike this close, so it's an uh, it's honor. Thank you very much. Hopefully one day we, you can get out and ride the, <laughs> the CBR 1000. Yeah, maybe. maybe. <laughs>